store is optimized for selling products. So I'm going to go to the main section of the e-store that allows you to do that. And that's the e-commerce section. In the e-commerce section, you can be able to manage your store and it starts at a dashboard. So in the dashboard, you can see there are several actions here that are needed in order to come up with an online store. So each action would have a circle. And once you complete that action, it will turn green. So it tells you very quickly, like if you're building a store for the very first time, you don't have to worry about all, uh, like having to learn all of the technicalities for it. The store itself is going to walk you through on the process step by step so that you're not going to miss on a very important feature that you should be setting up on your store. So just make sure that all of these are like green and you should be good to go. So say, for example, you want to add an additional product or service to your online store, you can click on that particular part of the dashboard. It goes to your product page. And here, you can be able to add a new product. So say, for example, I have a new product here. And say, I would like to uh, start by maybe uploading a, a, a picture for my product. Like for sure you want to have like, uh, you know, you want your product to have a picture. So let's say I'm, I have a picture on my desktop. I'm going to drag that picture over here uh, and I'm going to upload the picture. So there you go. So I have a picture for my product now. I'm gonna click on done. So say, for example, uh, this is the product that I'm going to be putting there. Of course, I have to name it. So let's say this is a Tanuki Japanese clay bell. So I'm very fond of clay bells. So that's why I chose this picture. So that's the name of my product. And then... Of course, I have to put some description on it. So I'll just put like uh, vintage uh, Japanese clay bell featuring a raccoon dog. So I have my picture, my title, my description. I can put other things like the weight, for example, especially if I'm going to be having the shift. Uh, oh, I forgot the price. So say for example, this is going to be like, say 15 sing dollars. I can also put like uh, other pricing options here. So you can do bulk discount pricing, you can enable a pay what you want pricing and several other pricing options that you might want here. And I can also identify like how many items I have on stock. So say for example, I have five of these, then it's, it makes it easier for you to be able to uh, do the inventory for your website because, or for your, uh, for your business because the store itself is going to be doing it for you. So uh, you can have other features there, but say for example, I'm already happy with the listing that I have, I'll just save it. And now I have another product on my store. 